Honourable Chancellor. The nation prays they'll find a solution to Britain's economic melee. New tenants are expected too at Longleat, one of the stately homes of England that has been turned very successfully into a little bit of Africa. Not these, they're old hands. Well, most of them are. But today, a selected few gather to see a ceremony arranged by Lord Bath, the proprietor of Longleat Safari Park. While they're waiting for the new star attractions, there's plenty to see in the rest of the park. Lions are gregarious creatures, gathering in groups or prides, and they'll jealously defend their boundaries against anybody, even other lions. Special guest today is another successful stately home entrepreneur, the Duke of Bedford, come all the way to Longleat to give expert help in testing the new cages. The arrival of four newcomers to Longleat celebrates the park's 10th anniversary, 10 years in which the Marquis of Bath has never hesitated to experiment with new ideas. But this one has just that touch of uncertainty about it to make it exciting. Tigers. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. There's something silently and indelibly savage about this sleek, beautiful predator. Of all the jungle creatures, it alone will attack man only if wounded or overexcited. However, in common with all the big cats, the tiger is predictable for one thing, its unpredictability. So to look a tiger in the eye, even one dozing lazily beneath a tree, stay inside your car. Tigers to jaguars, but still in a kind of jungle, springing back into the world's racing 